What's up guys, happy holidays, it's Swagwave here and I'm finally doing uh, my 2018 collection video update. So I'm gonna be reviewing all the figures I have in my place. These are not, this is not my entire collection, but it's just the stuff I have out currently displayed. And I'm gonna start off with the shelf that I showed off last year, my new shelf from last year, which is this one right here that you guys pretty much saw already, but I have a lot of new additions. So I can go over to the top again. We have my Godzilla stuff. Here's the Figma Monster Arts by Alante. I think that was there before. Um, the new got the 2001 Godzilla I added to the collection. And then over here we have King Ghidorah and his little buddy Gaigan. So that's pretty much the same except for this Godzilla. Some stuff I had ended up selling because I didn't need anymore. So that's Godzilla stuff that I have that I'm planning to use for my stop motions this later this 2019 year. Moving down here in my figure arts shelf, I have a new figure art. So last year, in the last video you guys saw, I saw Ray Vader, like two of my favorite hot toys. And this year I added none other than Anakin Skywalker from episode three. Uh, it was very cool. I, I mean, I grew up on the prequels, even though I know they're not that good movies, but uh, I couldn't pass up on this Anakin figure. It's kind of cool. He has his two lightsabers, his Dooku saber, his blue Jedi saber. It's one of my favorite figures there. Uh, moving over here, we have my first order set up. So I have Supreme Leader Snoke, and right here I have Kylo Ren. I have some figure arts red guards around Snoke. Uh, some first order stormtroopers, some officers, uh, Captain Phasma, an executioner, more stormtroopers, snowtrooper, and you get the picture. Now moving down here, one of my main figure arts collections is my Dragon Ball collection. So you can find, you guys probably spot all the new stuff that I added since last year, because now it's a lot more crowded. But uh, we'll start from, I guess, the left to right. So over here we have the Sea Fighters, Base Goku, Gohan, Krillin, the new Bulma, Roshi, Super Saiyan Vegeta, Tien, Yamcha, and Piccolo. And go over up here to the Saiyan, uh, the Cell Game Saga. We have tr uh, Vegeta and Trunks, the Android Cell, Super Saiyan 2, Goku, and Android 16 in the back. You see what we're yep. And then over here we have the older Broly, uh, Kid Goku flying on the Nimbus Cloud. Moving over, we have some of the Boo Saga stuff. So Maj and Vegeta, Kid Boo, Fat Boo. It's pretty cool. His little Facial expressions in the chocolate bar. Gohan, Super Saiyan 3, Goku, um, Super Saiyan Gotenks, the new one just came out. I'm very excited that I had it here before the year was over. Uh, coming over, we have some of the Dragon Ball Super stuff. So, uh, Blue Goku, Blue Vegeta, Blue Vegito, Super Saiyan God Goku with the red hair. Then, what we have, we've got Golden Frieza, my custom Goku Black. The new future trunks with his huge spirit sword, Whis and Beerus, and a custom golden Selza that's gonna be coming in my upcoming Dragon Ball video. And then to finish it off here in this corner, we have just some of the Saiyan Saga stuff. So the Vegeta in his pod, uh, we have Frieza in his final form, and Nappa with little Chatsu on his back, little Cyberman. Goku Kaioken, and the centerpiece, we have Mastered Ultra Instinct Goku with a custom hairpiece and custom uh, cloth outfit, looking pretty cool. So that is my entire figure arts Dragon Ball display here on the shelf. I am super excited to add the new ones that are coming out this year, especially Jiren. Uh, now coming back down here, this is stuff we've already seen last year, so my figure arts Civil War stuff, which Falcon and Cap, and over here we have the Team Iron Man stuff. Uh, Black Panther, Vision, and Iron Man still one of my favorite hot toys. Moving down here, here's the Empire Revisited. So I had to, I had some new additions, including some of my new officers, like Tarkin. Um, we have Admiral Piet and General Veers all the way here on this side. It's just flushing out my Imperial ranks. 
to death troopers back there, short troopers, sand troopers, shock troopers, two rows of just plain old stormtroopers. We have that new trooper from Solo, I forget his name, ATAT -AT driver. And I'm saving one spot right here for the range trooper that's coming out this year. And then down below my empire, I have my small republic shelf. I, last year, this was a Kamen Rider shelf, but I ended up switching it. So I just have here's my Republic, Windu, Padme, Anakin, Obi-Wan, and some clones in the back. Captain Rex, Commander Wolf, Commander Gree, a couple of 501st, and then some shinies. And then the last piece here, my Infinity Gauntlet, of course. You guys already seen this in my review. Awesome piece to have right there, just completes this whole shelf. People come into my uh, place, they're like, whoa, this is the first thing they see, and they're very impressed. So this is the shelf from last year. Um, we're gonna walk over to my studio slash room where I film a lot of my stuff for my YouTube videos, and I have a lot more shelves in the rest of my collection. So let's go. So real quick, before we get to my studio, we have here, just uh, in the kitchen, we have this little dining room, I should say. This little shelf here with some of my open Funkos. So I have the Thanos Funko, Kylo Ren, uh, Astro Form, Doctor Strange, X Force, Deadpool, Homecoming, Spider Man, Proto Fed, Venom, uh, Yellow Jacket, Crossbones, and then my favorite, which I recently got, it's uh, Iron Man uh, Venomized. So Iron Man with the Venom symbiote, looking pretty cool. Now over to the studio. And here is my studio slash collection room slash just nerd den, geek room, whatever you want to call it. Uh, I have a total of one, two, three, four shelves in here now. These are all brand new. You, did not, you guys did not see this before. This was, and if you guys remember from my past two collection videos, this shelf right here was my first original shelf that I ever owned. The Marvel Legends shelf over there in the corner. That was the OG, the first. And it still has a similar setup where I still have my Black Series at the top. So you can get a closer look. We have Darth Revan, Darth Maul, John Grievous, Ahsoka, Old Dan, R2. The, the main cast of the New Hope, New Hope uh, Luke, Leia, Han, Chewie, Vader, Old Man Luke, Old Leia, Rey. And the bottom here is still have my Avengers shelf. A little bit updated, you know, Anthony Scarlet Witch, New Vision, Infinity War, Iron Man, my custom cap, Stanley, She Hulk, Infinity War, Spider Man, Doctor Strange, and my Hulk, Infinity War for the Going back down here, I still have more Marvel heroes, so like the other teams like the X Men. Defenders, Fantastic Four, all this Guardian stuff all down here, Silver Surfer, Gamora, man, Warlock, uh, Mr. Fantastic, Wolverine, Nightcrawler, the new Storm, my Mr. Sidelock, and the Matrix, Daredevil, Matrix, excuse me, Medicom, uh, Mesco here, Daredevil. Now the last two shelves I rearranged, the last two are just for Marvel villains. So I have Venom there, Magneto, Ultron, the Disney Store, Thanos, Loki, my custom Red Hood, Doctor Doom, Omega Red, uh, Taskmaster, Sabretooth, Juggernaut, my Ronin, uh, this Asgardian dude, Koa, Doctor Doom, the Modoc Bath, the Wrecking Crew, the Masters of the Evil, and then the bottom here is just the second shelf of villains, Cobra Society, the Deadpools, Crossbones, some of those insects from my Guardians video, Scrolls, Absorbing Man, Mysterio, all the Venom symbiotes are back there, Mysterio, Hobgoblin, Scorpion, 
Now, one of my new, my newest shelves here, and right next to it, I have a new transformer shelf. And it's basically a glass display right here. So on the top here, um, I just have a bunch of random stuff. So like Goku statue, Anakin's Jedi stuff item, Lego, Old Man Logan, Destro, uh, my Lego, Sanctum Sanctorum, Galactus, Marvel Legends Build Theory for Lactus pulling out my custom swagway billboard. Uh, custom third party, not custom, a uh, third party tarn. And an inbox comic fan of a comic uh, Marvel's Love Thanos. Now going down here on the shelf, I have my uh, IDW Transformer stuff, so the, um, the Lost Light crew. I have got uh, Megatron. Whirl, Drift, Ultra Magnus, and oh my god, I'm blank on his name. The red dude, Rodimus. There you go. Coming down, I have our G our G1 Inspire team led by Optimus. Got Bumblebee, Jazz, RC, Perceptor, Cup, Springer, Trax, Ironhide, and I'm looking to add the new I uh, or for Cybertron Siege figures in this shell here. And then down here we have the G1 inspired Decepticons. So we have the Masterpiece Megatron, uh, the Seekers, led by Starscream, Soundwave, the Insecticons, Shockwave, Blitzwing, uh, the Coneheads in the back, Dirge, and those are address Astro Train. And then here in the last one, I have the uh, last three combiners that I had in my collection. So I ended up selling all the combiners in the like, Combiner Wars videos. But these three really have a special place in my heart. I couldn't get rid of these. Bruticus has always been my favorite, especially the Fall Cybertron Bruticus. Minosaur was the first combiner I owned, so I kept Minosaur and Computron. I just like the color scheme. So I kept these three combiners in my collection. Now I'm going over here to the next shelf here. On top, we have uh, my YouTube uh, silver plaque that I received last year that I never got to show off. It was for my first milestone of 100,000 subscribers. It's got a cool silver button, it says Swagwave SM. Congratulations for surpassing 100,000 subscribers. So, our first milestone there, thanks to you guys. And right here on top of the shelf, I have the Lego Darth Vader Castle. It's a really fun build, Amazon exclusive. And right here we have the Boombox Soundwave with War for Cybertron Optimus and Megatron. And all the War for Cybertron Dinobots, well not all, just four of them. All these are from Planet X. Now down here in the first shelf, we'll have my Spider-Verse shelf, one sh a shelf that I've been wanting to have displayed for a long time, finally got some space, and I'm very satisfied with the figures I own right now. The only one I'm missing that I really want is uh, the Marvel Legends Spider-Man SPD, but basically I have Spider-Girl, Superior Spider-Man, Miles, Peter Parker, Silk, Spider-Woman, uh, the Fantastic Four Spider-Man, Scarlet Spider, Spider-Man 2099, Ben Riley back there, Spider-Man Noir, Robo Spider, um, <laughs> Spider Bitch, I don't know. Uh, <laughs> I remember Charlotte Mrs. calling her Spider Bitch. I do not know her name, so if you guys know her name, put it in the comment. Spider Spider Woman, aka Gwen Stacy, Spider Ham, and uh Punk Spidey. Very cool. And then right next to the Spider-Verse shelf, we have, oh, and Iron Spider, of course. Right next to the Iron Spider-Man shelf, we have a little Star Wars shelf, extra stuff. So I have my Sphero Remote Control R2-D2, which is very cool. I got it for um, Cyber Monday. And then I have my Black Series Bounty Hunters here. I've always been a big, a big fan of the Star Wars Bounty Hunters from The Empire Strikes Back. And I was able to finally get all of them, finishing it off with Dengar. So here's Boba Fett. Forlom, Zuckus, Bosk, and IG88. 
Um, these shelves I have some Lego Star Wars stuff. This year I started collecting some Lego Star Wars stuff. So I have my, some Separatist Army stuff here. And tanks, some um, staffs, a, the uh, tank, and then a bunch of uh, Super Battle Droids and Battle Droids here in the front. Down here I have some Geonosis inspired stuff from um, the Clone Wars. It's Hailfire Droids, Spider Droids. That homing spider droid in the back. Some Geonosis clone troopers, Geonosis and battle droids. Coming down here, I have some clone trooper bark speeders and little walkers. Then I have uh, Darth Maul and his Death Watch gang here. The Grievous speeder in the back. And down here I have my one of my favorite Lego pieces, the MTT, the best MTT there is. It comes with 16 battle droids inside and I have little Lego Count Bibu standing up here. Right next to it I have a shelf with some of my ink inbox Funkos. Now these this is special first uh, first 10 years Marvel Studios Funkos that are all coming out in gold. And I'm a sucker for the gold, the shiny gold, so I'm collecting these in box. So I have the Hulk, Black Widow, I have Groot, and a Golden Shuri, which is a convention exclusive. Then up here I have the Lego Rebel Frigate from Star Wars Rebels. I'm pretty sure this pops open and inside you guys can see the uh, Lego Ahsoka um, and the Lego kid, whatever his name is, and Ezra Bridger and Chopper. And over here, in this corner here, I have the Lego Z19. It's a very cool set because it came with some very rare minifigs like um, General Krell and two 501st Lego troopers, so a 501st trooper and a 501st pilot. And then slightly above the shelf here, I have some Transformer Movieverse stuff. So that's some of the Studio Series stuff, stuff from the movies. Uh, the new Bumblebee. Uh, one of my other favorite Michael Bay Bumblebees. Studio Series Optimus. Crane Case. Megatron. Zo Nitro Zeus. The uh, Leader Class Starscream and Leader Class Blackout in the back. And then up here, I have my uh, Transformers Legacy stuff. So all the stuff I've used for Legacy, Transformers Prime, uh, and my combined work Death Vader. I forgot about that. Freddy King, Galvatron, Lockdown, Thundertron. It's basically all the stuff I use for my Transformers Legacy series. So that's this shelf here, and then my last shelf, right over here on the right, we have my last shelf with some displays and some more Legos. So we'll start at the top. At the, actually, no, we'll start at the bottom this time. At the bottom, we have some Lego Clone War stuff, Turbo Tank, some Lego Jedis, a Republic Tank. ATTE, one of my favorite Lego pieces here. It's very cool. A bunch of clone troopers here scattered with some Jedi's. Master Yoda, Mr. Windu. And over here on the right, on this first floor, I have my NECA Ninja Turtle stuff and all the stuff from my Ninja Turtle videos. Which I am planning to get back to soon, hopefully. Then right up here, I have some Black Series, a Black Series display, Luke Speeder with a Stormtrooper like asking for his ID card and the Stormtrooper riding the whatever lizard is called. I'm, I'm forgetting the names. Someone please help me. Moving up, we have a First Order Lego sets. So I have two First Order uh, walkers. First Order Troop Transport, Kylo Ren's TIE Silencer, some troops, 
over here, battling it out. More resistance into First Order troops and another Lego locker. Now coming over here to the left of this, I have my um, Marvel Legends Nazis, AKA, <laughs> AKA Hail Hydra, uh, Hydra and Red Skull and his army basically. So it's the Mezco, Red Skull and some Hydra, is a Hydra army here. Hydra agents, different variations of them. Brutes, assassins, tactical mask and heavies. This Red Skull is one of my favorite figures. This Red Skull is very nice. And then down here, just some extra Lego sets. Battle on the Blue. The, can the Cantina on Tatooine with Han. And then coming up, up here, above my Hydra display, I have Apocalypse and it's Four Horsemen display. Now these are all custom pieces made by Golden Hand Customs. I don't think I've ever before shown you guys this, so this is like a first time. I've had these for a while. But basically, Golden Hand Customs made me this Apocalypse right here and this uh, Archangel. And then I asked him to make me the other three horsemen. So well, what I actually did was, I ended up drawing the designs for three custom horsemen and I chose Rogue, uh, Colossus, and Storm. And I basically drew up designs for each of them. So here's the Rogue. I drew up this design, he made it happen. Here's the custom Colossus as the horseman. I drew up the design, he made it happen. And here's the custom Storm as Apocalypse's horseman. I do, again, I drew the design, he made it happen. Golden Hand Customs is the best, go check them out on Instagram. But yeah, I'm hoping to one day get to get back to X-Men and finish the storyline. Now coming up here, right on top of the Apocalypse uh, display, I have my Wakanda display. So basically I have uh, Wakanda the throne with Black Panther right here on his knees, just being defeated. And sitting on the throne, we have Eric Killmonger. I have some Dora Milaje. These are the two new Dora Milaje from the Black Panther wave. T'Chaka back there, M'Baku. There's Eric Killmonger sitting on the throne. And I have the Shuri Black Panther figure back here. Now moving over here to the right, I have my one of my favorite dis Lego displays is all my uh, Rebel Fighters. All my Lego Rebel Fighters. So I have obviously the Lego X-Wing with a little Luke in there. I have the Lego B-Wing back there with Nine Num, Lando, Lego A-Wing, Lego Y-Wing, and the Lego U-Wing. And moving over here, we have um, a very nice Lego shuttle. One of the nicest Lego Starships they've ever made. The uh, Shuttle Tiberium from Return of the Jedi. Very cool design. One of my favorite ships. Some Rebel Troopers here from the Battle Pack. Has a little Rebel Leia and Hondo inside. Han and Chewie in there. And then right above here, I have some Imperial stuff. I have my Lego TIE Fighter that I built in that one video and a bunch of Stormtroopers right here lined up. Officers, Stormtroopers, Shadow Troopers. And then the Crown Jewel, I have Thanos' throne right here at the top of the shelf. A custom diorama piece that I've been saving for my Infinity War stop motion. I have my custom Thanos made by Golden Hand Customs, the one and only that you guys seen in my stop motions, sitting up there like a boss. I have here right next to him, 
for the Black Order henchmen. Here's the Bath Black Order dude, Cull Obsidian, or Black Dwarf, whatever you want to call him. And on, on his left side, I have Proxima, my custom Proxima Midnight and custom Corvus Glaive. I'm also getting a custom Ebony Maw in the works by Golden Hand as well, so that will be coming soon to round off the collection in 2019. And then right here, all sprawled out in an epic last attempt are all the Avengers just dead or defeated. Captain America, S.H.I.E.L.D., Iron Man is dead, his head has got, got cut off. Doors down. The Hulk's just here, sprawled out on the steps. Black Knight. Falcon, Wolverine, they've all tried to take down Thanos and no one did. Scarlet Witch, uh, Cyclops. So yeah, that's definitely my crown jewel of the collection. This whole display here of Thanos. Uh, I mean, in here, pretty much, it's just uh, my dioramas and stuff. So all, this, all the stuff I use for sets, and usually the extra boxes I put in here. And then over here on this side, just, just my studio space where I film. Uh, up there on the wall, I have a couple little shelves. I have some more Legos there. I got the Bounty Hunter Battle Pack, Darth Vader's Chamber. Ray and Old Man Luke in the hut. At the top there I have Yoda's hut and the best bin Han Solo Carbonite. And at the very top I have the gold Funko Pops for Iron Man and Captain America. And then basically here's some of my sets here. Some figures lying around, some dioramas there that I've been working on. And then underneath my sets, I have these plastic containers with uh, extra figures I don't use that I have in baggies. And I have bins with um, figure boxes. So I'm not a box collector, but for all my high-end figures like figure arts or uh, Mezco or anything like that, I always keep the boxes just in case I move and want to store a figure. So I have here just like a bunch of bins with boxes, uh, Lego boxes. There's my Unicron over there. Um, I have the Infinity Gauntlet box down there. I have that giant mystery machine box that I got sent from uh, Maginex. Some lighting stuff, a lightsaber, and then these little drawers here for like accessories, hands, weapons, tools, props for the stop motion. And that about does it. So we'll give you guys one, more, one last 360 of the room of all my, my my collection updates this year. So I hope you guys enjoyed watching this and following along. Uh, yeah, my collection has expanded a lot this year in the last video. And in the last video I only had two shelves. This time I have one, two, three, four, five in the shelf. Five shelves in total. Um, I'm really proud of what I've been able to accomplish here. Uh, I've gotten rid of a lot of stuff because at one point I was getting carried away and I had to refocus my attention and be like, okay, obviously I can't collect everything. I'm just gonna collect things that are personal and dear to me. So I'm a Marvel guy, I'm a Transformers guy, I'm a Star Wars guy, and I'm gonna just stick to that. So this is basically my 2018 update collection, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed watching it. Let me know what, which of these things you guys have in your collection. And I uh, hope you guys have a happy holidays and I'll catch you guys on my next video. I know you're a monster.